Good morning and welcome to week three. I cannot believe it. I don't know if you're in as much shock as I am. It's more excited, just excited to be able to finally see the finish line. And what a wonderful two weeks this has been. We wanna say a special thank you to Pastor Henry and to Pastor Kay who have been driving us into our devotions for the past two weeks. And for this last week, we want to focus on Thanksgiving because we are going to praise like we've never praised before for what he has done and what he's about to do in our lives. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16. Thankfulness is an abnormal feeling for those who are not believers. But for believers, this is something that is normal, as normal as breathing. See, a heart that is void of God's grace is incapable of being able to be thankful consistently. But because of God's grace that lives in us, we are thankful no matter what, no matter where. It is something that is automatic. It happens wherever we are and wherever we go. In public, we're thankful. In private, we're thankful. Whether we're home, whether we're at work, we have an attitude of gratitude. Gratitude keeps our attitude focused on God's goodness. See, he's still good no matter what the situation. You have a job, he's good. You don't have a job, he's still good. You're sick, he's good. You're healthy, he's still good. No matter what we're going through, no matter what we find ourselves in, the Lord's goodness never fails. So today I wanna to remind you to be thankful. Be thankful for all that he has done and all that he's given you. Thank him for the joy that we have in Christ Jesus. Thank him for the air that you breathe. Thank him for the food that you eat. Thank him for the shelter, the physical shelter that he puts over your head. Especially thank him for the spiritual shelter that he gives us against our enemies. All this for your benefit so that the grace that is reaching more and more may cause thanksgiving to overflow to the glory of the Lord. That's 2 Corinthians 4 verse 15. Today we are going to start week three with a heart of thankfulness. We are going to have an attitude of gratitude that is going to rub off on those that see us. People on the streets are gonna be wondering what we're so excited about. May the thankfulness of God reach you wherever you are. May your heart be open, your mind open, your eyes open to be able to give him all the things that he is deserving of. Have a wonderful first day of week three.